Hi, I'm Mael Fury, Sales Advisor at Kemper Nicholson. Today, I have the pleasure to welcome you on board Silvertip, a magnificent sailing yacht. Let's follow me to have a tour on board. Welcome on board Silvertip. Built by yachting developer in 2001 and still under original ownership, she has been designed from a very demanding build brief. Built in New Zealand for a very discerning owner, she is the best of both worlds between racing with performance and having a long-range cruising capabilities. The inside garage, located aft, is the perfect place to store the water toys, the tender, and all the diving equipment, with also a direct access to the steering system. This feature is very well known for a yacht of the size of silver tip. The transom opening doors gives an easy access to the water, easy boarding on the tender, but also a great place to go out diving. Now, let's move forward on silver tip. The exterior has been designed by Ed Dubois as a naval architecture. The deck is very slick and cluttered, and it helps to get a fantastic timeless line from the outside. The cockpit is well integrated in the line of the yacht and has all the features you need for racing, but also for cruising. We will start from the helm station. The helm station, located close to the cockpit, has all the navigation equipment and sales handling systems, but also a very nice helm with a direct connection to the steering system through cables. This helps to have a very nice helm feeling and a great sensation at the wheel, either in light wind or in heavy winds. Located forward, we have the service area, and it's one of the best features outside to help serve all the guests in this area, with a fridge, a nice maker, and a countertop, so the hotels can easily serve all the exterior areas on board. To have sun protection, we have two awnings that roll up in the boom. Located around, we have a great small bimini coming in for wind protection if needed. She's well stored in a flush storage, which helps to get this slick line on board. Let's move forward to have a look to the mast and the rigging. Silvertip has been built to perform, and a few features has been well thought to help maintaining the weight in the middle for better sea keeping, better performance in light wind, and also better performance in general of the sails. Located here, we have the windlass and the anchor locker. Here, the weight distribution is really in the middle, helping a lot the performance. Regarding the sails, we've got north sails covering all the sails with two sets, one cruising, one racing. Perfect for having multiple options. The bow area is very interesting. You can appreciate the flush deck, but also the setup of front sails with Jeep, Genoa, Cozero, and also available A2, A3, and other set of sails. Located here, we've got the anchor on a hydraulic arm, permitting to get a nice design on the front, and a lot of storage, either for the sails or for the cleaning stuff. After discovering the exterior, I'm now inviting you to have a look inside. As we enter in the interior of Silver Tip, designed by Agnes Comar, you can appreciate the brightness of the interior thanks to first the whole window on each size, which is kind of a derisable feature on a setting out of this size, and with the beautiful skylight above us that can be open to get a breath of fresh air in the interior. This salon is divided in two areas. There is the first one, which is the more informal and lounge area facing the great TV. And we have here a great dining table, can accommodate up to eight to 10 guests, great area. When we go a little bit aft, we have this great private office that can both used either for the owner, if he wants to walk, um, or to the captain to plan the navigation and to control all the equipment there. I am now inviting you to discover the guest area of Silvertip. The master stateroom of Silvertip is located aft of the Vessair, which provides a lot of comfort at sea. She is full beam with two very nice windows that you can open to get fresh air inside, but also you have a stunning view at the sea when you are at the anchor or in navigation. The master stateroom has a full king size bed, a very nice sitting area. You can also see all the storage all around the master stateroom, which makes her very comfortable to stay a long time on board. The bathroom of the master stateroom is ensuite and you've got all the features you want in a bathroom of this size with a very nice shower 
and a sink and a mirror. On the other side, you've got a little bit her bathroom. On port side, we have first a twin cabin with a pullman berth. She can accommodate up to three guests and she has an entry bathroom. On the starboard side, it is the double cabin with also an entry bathroom. Both are with large volume and opening window that permits to have a breath of fresh air again inside and a lot of natural light entrance. Now, after discovering the guest accommodation, we are now heading to the technical areas and we first start with the engine room. The engine room, as before entering into the more technical area, is benefiting for a working area with a large and voluminous uh, headroom, making every maintenance easy and a lot of storage of spare parts around me. You have a full set of generator located also there with fuel filtration, everything is extremely accessible here and it helps a lot to get the boats well maintained. Silver tip main engine is a lugger 300 horsepower with a cruising speed of 10 to 12 knots. The fuel capacity is extremely good with 12,000 liters. It permits a range of 4,500 nautical miles. She's also equipped with two generators for both the hotel utilization but also the safe handling with the hydraulic system. As previously mentioned, Silver Tip is an excellent racer but also the perfect yacht to go while cruising. And the crew accommodation located forward are perfect for that because they give a lot of space to the crew. First of all, we've got on port side a professional made galley with fully equipped by meal. Here, down there, we've got a huge freezer and two professional fridge giving a lot of cold capacities and permit to have a long autonomy at sea. The crew mess, located on starboard, is perfect because it can accommodate all the crew around the table. Thank you for your attention. It was a pleasure having you on board today of Silver Tip. If you would like any information or have any questions, please feel free to visit our website or click in the link in the description for more information. Thank you very much.